Hi guys, today I will be sharing no bake pineapple cheesecake. For the base, we need 80 grams of butter and 19 pieces of marie. Uh, first thing is to um, crush the marie and then add the melted butter. Continue mixing until it resembles like a wet sand. With my cheesecake pan, I will be putting parchment paper so I could easily remove the bottom of the pan when we're serving it. Now I will pour the cheesecake base and then using the back of a spoon, press it down until it, it is well compacted. And now we will put this in the fridge to set while we move on to the next step. One tablespoon of unflavored gelatin. 1 fourth cup of hot boiling water, 500 grams of cream cheese, and 450 grams of crushed pineapple that we will drain the liquid, half a cup of water, 2 thirds cup of sugar, the eggs, and um, 300 ml of thick cream or heavy cream. First thing we need to do is to add the gelatin into the hot water mixed and then set aside next step is to drain the liquid from the crushed pineapple and oh by the way it is important not to use fresh pineapple because the enzyme from the fresh pineapple will prevent the gelatin from setting next step is to whip the whipping cream to soft picks just like this now we will set this aside next step is to um, combine the half a cup of water and two thirds cup of sugar I'm not really gonna mix this. I just gonna submerge the what the sugar into the water. Then I'm gonna move on to the stove with the heat setting medium heat. So while we're waiting for the sugar syrup to boil, it's best to prepare the eggs. So start beating the eggs. And then check on the sugar syrup. While the sugar is still cooking, it's time to remelt the um, bloomed gelatin. So melt this in the microwave for about 20 seconds so that it will become liquid again just like this. Once the sugar syrup starts to boil, if you have a thermometer, you can use it. If you don't, you're gonna have to wait for the sugar to boil for at least 6 minutes. That Because we need to get to um soft boil um stage which is... 118 degrees Celsius at this point I reach um, 118 degrees Celsius so I would turn off the heat and go straight away to my egg mixture is beating I will gradually add the um, sugar syrup Continue beating for about 2 minutes. At this point, you can also add the um, melted gelatin. After beating, we will set this aside. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. At this point, we can start beating the cream cheese. It would be easier if your cream cheese is at room temperature. So beat the cream cheese until it is smooth. Occasionally scrape down the side of the bowl. Once the cream cheese is smooth, you can add the um, crushed pineapple. 
continue to beat until it is well combined. Again, scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now we can add the egg mixture. Then mix using the um, electric mixer. I added the mixture or the egg mixture into additions. Just make it a habit to um, scrape down the side of the bowl. Just to make sure that um, everything is being incorporated well. At this point, we can fold in the um, whipped cream. I added the whipped cream into additions again using the folding method. We are now ready to um, pour the cheesecake batter into the prepared pan. Now we will let this set for about 2 hours before we move on to the next step. We wanted the um, cheesecake to set before we move on to the next step. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. I'm using um, pineapple flavored jelly. I used two packet, and then I just follow the manufacturer instructions except I use less water so it's firmer. That's glazed cherries and this is um, fruit salad. So we're gonna need this but this is optional step. So once the um, cheesecake is set, um, we can move on. Um, so I'm adding fruit salad on top. And then just to add extra um, color, I'm putting glazed cherries. Again, all these steps is now optional. You can skip this step. You can decorate your cheesecake the way you want. And now I'm going to slowly pour the um, gelatin. Make sure that the gelatin is um, cold or else it will melt your cheesecake. Now we're going to let this set in the fridge again for about four hours three to four hours and now the um, cheesecake and the gelatin is set we can now unmold the cheesecake I'm doing it quite fast in here so I'm not doing a very good job releasing the cheesecake and then release it from the um, cheesecake pan So just be very careful releasing the cheesecake. And this is our finished product. I promise you this cheesecake is really good. You're gonna love this. Easy to make, it just requires multitasking. And then just to show you um, what it looks like when you cut the cheesecake. Texture wise, it's soft like mousse. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!